justice denied. It's how one North Las Vegas family is describing an investigation into their son's death. He was shot last year on Halloween night. 8 News Now reporter Joshua Peguero with why no one, though, has been charged. Almost a year since his death, the family of 17-year-old Samari Norris Johnson is now calling on the district attorney's office to reopen the investigation into his death. They deserve answers in regard to what happened here and why this 16-year-old is not being prosecuted for the killing. Norris Johnson was killed at this intersection, the site of Thursday's press conference. He was a football player at Desert Pines High School and his death has left a gaping hole. Samari's name will not be another file in North Las Vegas drawer. We obtained surveillance video from that night. It shows Norris Johnson run out of a car and then you hear gunshots. <laughs> North Las Vegas police say he and a group of teens were wearing ski masks when they ran towards two trick-or-treaters, which included the 16-year-old shooter. I asked the family for their version of events. I want to get their side of the story about what they heard happened that night. Because right now we just have what police are saying. Samari so went out on Halloween that night to have a good time as a teenager. He thought he could snatch candy bags and prank kids and... Um, he ran up on trick-or-treaters that were walking and the child had a gun. So immediately after running up to him, he was shot. Because the shooter was a minor, a lot of, the, a lot of that information right now is private, confidential, is secured. The family also tells me they plan to file a civil lawsuit, although they didn't disclose who they'll be filing it against. Pointing at the Regional Justice Center, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now. Now, we reached out to both the Clark County District Attorney and North Las Vegas Police for comment, and we're still wording for an update on that case.